Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This is a quick op opportunity for us to talk a little bit about articulation and how to quickly diagnose and prescribe to your students how to properly make sure that they're articulating on their instrument, be them a brass player or a woodwind player. One simple trick and one simple tool is the use of a straw. Either plastic, paper, or metal, that straw is gonna help us determine whether a student is truly using their tongue along with the air in tandem. What I will explain to a student very quickly is how to use the air and also the syllable that I would like them to use, making sure that they understand that the air and the tongue again work together. So for a woodwind player slash clarinet, saxophone, oboe, bassoon, I may use the word T to re reinforce tip of the tongue to the tip of the reed. So with using that, I would ask them to take a two count breath in, whatever breathing process you use, without stopping the air and release it right back out again. So they're breathing, breathing, and then out, and they're using the word T. So it would, look, it would sound like this first. T, 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 T. I may eventually turn that into eighth notes, but at first I wanna make sure that that quarter note is really locked and loaded. So then I'm gonna have them put the straw in their mouth and do the same thing. It's very easy to tell if they're not using their tongue because you will hear this, which is like a guttural or an air sound versus that, that lack of clarity for the tongue. With my brass students, I may use a da, a do, or a do articulation. Again, really being cautious to make sure that whatever I choose to use at whatever style of articulation, I'm communicating with my students. So I'd start with a do first. And again, the same thing, in for two. Do, 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 do. Keeping that airstream constant, just as if I were blowing up a balloon. So it's that, that consistency of the air across the board, again, in tandem with the tongue. We never want our brass players, obviously, to tongue through their teeth, but I think the understanding of this being through their teeth as they're utilizing it is pretty clear to a brass or a woodman player. It's a quick and easy trick. It works really, really well to be able to quickly diagnose and prescribe exactly what needs to have happen for clarity on both your brass and your woodman players. Thanks so much.